In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to adjust the currency settings for your premium press website. So let's get started. Firstly, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. Click on Premium Press, click on Settings, and scroll halfway down to Currency Settings. Now, from this page, you can manage all of the currency options in your Premium Press theme. We have the first option here called Currency Switcher. And if I show you what that looks like, just go to our website. And if I hover over here, we have different currencies selected. Now we turn this on and off. We can turn the entire option off. So we can turn this option off by using turning this option on here. Or if we didn't want different currency options, we can simply scroll down and click and disable all the ones we do not want. We click save settings, give the page a refresh, and we can see the currency options have now been reduced. The next section down refers to the base currency for your website. So if you're setting up your website in the US, for example, and you're taking primarily US dollars, then obviously these options would be great for you. Um, if you're in the UK and you want to change this to the Great British Pound, so we'll just change that to the pound symbol, change that to Great British Pound, etc. So this is the base price that you're using for your website. Now, obviously, we have additional currency exchange options, but everything goes through the base price. So, for example, the base price will always be one. So if you're setting up a website and you're charging US dollars, then the value that user enters, for example, 10 US dollars, the base price will always be one. The currency exchange rates are based on the base price. Now, it's a little bit confusing. There is a little of explanation here, but basically all of the rates, etc. that you set here will be based on the base price of one. So um, the pound to US dollar base rise would be uh, 1.6 the euro to the uh, US dollar will be 1.3, etc. Now, the rates are not automatically adjusted. These are the latest rates that we've um, taken from the website. So if they do change significantly, then obviously go ahead and um, adjust those accordingly. Uh, and if you need to add and edit any of these options, you can go ahead and just do this section here. We've added a link at the bottom, as you can see here, that takes you to the latest uh, Yahoo Finance options to see the basic rates against the base price. So if you're using US dollars, check the base price between US dollar and Great British Pounds. For most people, you probably wouldn't want to use currency exchange rates, um, but for, the, for those that do, these options are here. So for example, when a user comes to pay at checkout, most of the payment options will be processed through US dollar anyway. So they'll be converted based on the US dollar and the base rate you've got here. So it's a very quick explanation, but make sure the um, the base price is the one you want. So this currency option here. And if you are going to be using currency exchanges, turn the currency ex switcher on, which will allow the user to select the currency that they want to use. Thanks for watching.